So today we are gonna be making a 3D cell model. So the materials that we are gonna need to make this product is a 10 inch styrofoam ball for the, new, um, for the cell itself. And you can have a little container just to hold each ball if you want. And we're gonna be needing a three inch styrofoam ball for the nucleus of the cell. And you do need a one inch or a 1.5 inch ball for the nucleolus. And you're gonna need some paint brushes, any cutting device such as scissors, and any marking device such as a pen or markers. Um, this is optional, but if you want, you can have a plate or um, any holding device to hold the paints that you're going to be using. You need string for the DNA, a hot glue gun with um, hot glue sticks, or any gluing device, um, and some paint. You, and the color that you would want to paint the um, the outside of the cell, you would actually need like more paint. So I got two bottles of yellow because in this case it's going to be yellow. And then foam sheets to make the endoplasmic reticulums, the vesicle, um, the mitochondria, and the ribosomes. So let's get started! So the first step in making the model is painting our cell. In this case, um, we're gonna paint it yellow because it's gonna be color coded. And we're just gonna need the yellow paint, the paintbrush, the container, and the plate for this step. your ball is completely covered in the color that you want it to be, we have to start working on the inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the ball in half and in on like on like the half on this line so it could be like open, like semi open. So I suggest that first you should have some like markings like this that could be done with a plastic, um, a plastic knife. Just very softly mark where you're going to cut it. And you may need an adult's help while doing the cutting. It cuts. So you have to do it like up to the middle. Up, like there should be a middle line. So you do it up to the middle. And then like the middle line is where you're going to cut. Okay, hello again. So I have finished another step, which I didn't mention, but you have to color the other balls, such as the ball that you're gonna have for the nucleus, the three inch ball, another color, a separate color, so it's another color code, and another ball for the nucleolus if you are planning on splitting the nucleus in half, which I do highly recommend. And um, we also have um, finished cutting the cell like this into one fourth. So, yeah. So now let's move on to the next step, which is to make this as flat as possible. Sorry, so that our organelles can fit in properly. See you then. So the next step to do with the cell, meanwhile the nucleus and the nucleolus are drying, is we have to reinforce the membrane. So the membrane in this case is yellow, so we have to just make a thin line right around the cell just to have a little bit of the membrane noticed. And just in case, we smoothened out our cell using um, sandpaper. So we just like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. What we have to do, the next step is to get our nucleus ball. And once it's completely painted and dried, um, we have to cut off 
um, one fourth of the ball, exactly how we get to the cell, because we're gonna put the nucleolus inside also. All right, so the next step is we have to make a hole in our cell, and then we can just stick the nucleus inside and paint the inside. And then after that, you have to grab your nucleolus, you have to divide it into one, one quarter pieces, so you have one quarter piece, which you could stick right here in the middle of the nucleus. So now we have already glued the nucleolus to the nucleus, and now we have to continue with the rest of the organelles. So first we're gonna do the rough endoplasmic reticulums. So we have to cut strips of foam paper, any color that you want, um, like this, like this wide. And we can draw little ribosomes on it so it can be the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And once you are done with that, you can fold it up like this and glue it, and you have to do the entire thing, and glue it around the nucleus. So like this. I'll see you when I finish it. So once your smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulums are done, see this one's the rough one because I have ribosomes, and this one is the smooth one. Then we then we can start making the mitochondria. So first you should get the foam paper that you're gonna use and then make the inner and the outer membranes. And then we make the ribosomes inside. So then after we finish this step, we cut them out as shown right here and then, um, then glue them on your model. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to build our Golgi apparatus. So what, what I did here was I grabbed a strip of blue foam paper and I just um, folded it like this and just glued the edges. Then so we also have to do the ribosomes, which are just punched out holes. We also have to do the lysosomes, which are gonna be yellow as shown right here. make the peroxisome with green foam paper and then we have the vesicles made from these tiny foam um, foam that fell from the cell and we just and I dyed this with blue marker these are for the Golgi in addition we also have back wolves which in this case are brown so what I got is I got white styrofoam paper and I colored it brown. Alright, so now that we have finished all of the organelles except for the DNA, it's time to place them on our cell model. So right now, I have already placed the Golgi apparatus, the lysosome, the mitochondria, and the endoplasmic reticulums. So now it's time to place the rest. Putting on the vesicles. Some are going in and some are going out. So we're gonna put these first. Okay, so here in our Golgi, over here on this side is called the cis side. So this is where the vesicles are coming in. And then on the trans side over here, the longer side, they're coming out. So now just place them. And there has to be some vesicles on both sides, so. Now our cell is 
complete. So inside our cell, just a reminder that we have the Golgi apparatus with the vesicle. We have the mitochondria. We have the paroxysm. We have the tubes, which are the microtubes. We have the T-shape, which is the centrioles. We have the smooth endoplasmic reticulums, the rough endoplasmic reticulums, the nucleus, and inside the nucleus, the DNA and the nucleolus. And we have the um, vac vacuole. And, and we have the ribosomes. And we have the ribosomes. And of course, we have the cell membrane. So that is the conclusion of this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more amazing videos such as this. But don't forget to keep in tune for my next video where I will explain each organelle of the cell and their functions.